G'day everyone, Goober here with another Torchlight Infinite video. In this series we'll be going through each league mechanic um, one by one, explaining what it is, uh, what season it came from, and uh, what sort of loot and stuff you can expect from that mechanic. Now, it's pretty easy to go through because it has the oldest at the right going through to the newest league mechanic that's been introduced. And uh, first up, we have Season 1, uh, which was Dark Surge. Now, this is the Dark Surge boss. Uh, to do the boss, you need to get the four edicts, or three, if you want to do the non-Uber version. Um, so, let's quickly do the boss, and then I'll go through the mechanic. So, first off, we'll do the non-Uber version. Uh, the non-Uber version has a 50% chance to drop a um, Familiar Nexus, which is the double corrosion item that is within the game. Um, there is a couple of one-shot mechanics in this uh, fight. The first being this massive wave that he pumps out. The first one will kill you, then he recharges. The second one does no damage, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, which is pretty easy. This is the other one. As you saw there, the last two rows um, go first, and you just walk down into that area. If you don't want to do it that way, you can also dash into this wall, and the top one will miss you as well. But the proper way of doing the mechanic is down the bottom there. Um, and we didn't get a nexus or anything good drop so um, I'll just show you this portal first uh, it drops you out over here there is a faster way of doing it uh, which I'll show you with the uber version so in, if you're doing many of these in a row you can just pop your own portal and it'll drop you at the bottom of the nexus when you are finished so the Uber version has a uh, one or two more mechanics, which I guess you're not seeing most of the mechanics because I do too much damage. Um, but he does a few other things as well. Uh, that you just run around and avoid, basically. Avoid the black things. So I'll show you the other version. So you just dash against this wall. That one misses you, and then you can just run out uh, as you were before. Uh, take note of where he spawns with his health bar you just run to the opposite uh, side and um, yeah kill him that way so he's gonna drop Ooh, priceless nice and a familiar nexus so in the uber version he has a 100% chance to drop the familiar nexus and then you just go through your own portal and it drops you at the bottom of the nether realm so looking at the Dark Surge through the new trait card system. Most people, if they're running this, they just go to the right here for the um, chance for bosses to drop you the Dark Surge X. Uh, that paired with the flat chance to spawn um, Dark Surge is really good. Uh, when I was testing this, I didn't feel it was uh, beneficial to buy the compasses to force Dark Surge uh, as I went through dry spells of not getting edicts. It was still beneficial, but um, it wasn't that beneficial, if you know what I mean. You would make more profit just doing... Uh, extra points, 15 points into chance, as well as the uh, Dark Surge over here. Uh, another way that you can farm Dark Surge is through the ultimate legendary gear that can possibly drop. Um, that is a strategy. The main strategy that people use are the bosses over here. Um, and then you have other ones up here, which I don't think I've seen strategies of people using for the stuff up here because the bosses that can spawn through a Dark Surge um, spawn in the first uh, one to three waves or the 11th to the 13th wave. Um, and if you have this node going off the right here, you'll probably only have one to three um, max uses anyway. 
So if you're going up here for the extra uh, corrosion energy, you're getting 75% less down here. And all these nodes up here are basically um, null and void because you're not getting the extra corrosion energy as you would expect. Uh, possibly if you're going for all these ones up here, you are not going for the bosses and you're going down here for the legendary gear drops. Um, I believe I have a set. I do not. So this is generally the setup that people use uh, when they are adding Dark Surge to their maps. Uh, it gives you a 100% chance to spawn Dark Surge and then in the first couple of waves you have a chance to um, get the Dark Surge Edicts as well as a Familiar Nexus to drop from that. I didn't go over the price of the Edicts, uh, the Dark Surge... So the Dooms have come massively down, so they're 53. That suggests to me that the Nexus is probably around about 130. Where is it? In here. So the Nexus is 150. So the Nexus generally is the price of all of the Edicts combined um, because when you are doing the Uber version, you have a 100% chance to drop the familiar Nexus, uh, which is quite nice. So it's 150 for doing that. But then if you get one of the uh, priceless items, obviously not this one, but one of the others, you, there's a lot of potential for uh, profit there. Alrighty, I'm going to load up a map and do a couple of Dark Surge maps and see how we go. Alrighty, I have, this isn't a strategy that I would generally run with, however, uh, as it is to showcase uh, Dark Surge and nothing else, I've placed all the points into Dark Surge. For one strategy, I have gone with 100% chance for uh, God of Water Spawn with duration and quantity. And finally, um, the standard chance for compasses to drop, bosses to drop loot, and chance for beacons to drop and be upgraded. So it's unfortunate that um, I'm just resetting the um, nodes at the moment because I have just done two maps to reset. Both times has randomly spawned Dark Surge and both times I've had Edicts drop. So in two maps, I've gained three edicts, which is crazy luck considering this spec is currently not Dark Surge. Um, so I guess we'll see how um, the next few maps go. So the only compass that I will use, which will benefit the um, beacons dropping, will be the shiny samurai for the extra mag magic monsters. And we'll see how we do. So as you'll notice in the map, there will be a bunch of enemies with a purple um, dot. They are the Dark Surge Juice Monsters. Uh, I must just say, it is really nice to be able to just play the game, hold down A and loot things. I've been playing Path of Exile and clicking on everything is a massive, massive pain in the ass. Um, so the quality of life in uh, Torchlight is huge. And the game just doesn't lag its brains out, you know? Yes, yes. Bit of stuff. So the boss is dead and I have mine um, keyed to T so I just press T it does the dark surge. We didn't get a boss so we didn't get edicts um, which is to be expected since I got them when I was resetting the, the tree. Um, so I'll do another one. Uh, I'll see the boss see how we do um, and then I'll just see the boss each time. Alrighty, we're at the boss. Uh, I'm just going to let the league mechanic go because I don't really care about it too much. And I don't want to go back through that portal, so.
Let's just end that. So we didn't get anything from the Dark Surge again. Uh, as you can probably tell, it is highly RNG. However, if you aren't paying for it to be added to the map, then it's... Um, I forgot to do these, didn't I? Uh, where's that? I found. Yes, I should be adding these. Bom, bom. My mistake. That's just extra drop quantity for the map. Gives you an extra juice. So anyway, I'll see you at the boss again. Another one where we didn't get a boss. Alrighty, last one. Uh, again, we didn't get a boss. You see the boss health bar pop up immediately if you get the boss. So it's really easy to track. So anyway, that is the mapping experience with Dark Surge with this strategy, uh, with the other strategy which hunts down the ultimate legendary gear, uh, etc. is where it gets very, very expensive. Uh, looking at the price of the Dark Surge edicts, uh, not edicts, memory uh, compasses. So we have map materials, I really hate this view. I wish it would show you what each one did, not it's a compass. Thanks, bro. You have to click on it to actually see what it is. Um, so anyway, <laughs> minor gripe. Looking at the rusted Dark Surge, this just adds uh, Dark Surge to the map. It's really quite cheap, 1.5 um, flame element image. I was about to say chaos. However, the shiny Dark Surge, uh, if we look at these, um, floods the stage completely, so it guarantees it as well. However, it also greatly increases the chance for Dark Surge Corrosion to grant legendary gear. Um, so that buff, little buff by itself, um, adds 144 fly, Flame Elementium to the cost of the compass. So 145... 150 FE per map, you'd want to be getting some really, really nice priceless legendary gear. I don't have much FE on me at the moment, so I won't be testing this. However, that is entirely possible. What else can you do with Dark Surge? So Xenoth the Lightless, he has um, a couple of things here. He has the Path of the Brave, which you can do. Um, it drops reasonable uh, loot, uh, however, it is rather boring uh, recently. There is some silly mechanics that have been added to one-shot you, um, and uh, it's just bad. So he also does Reflection, which is similar to the Mirror of Calandra in um, Path of Exile. Twin Reflections go for a ridiculous amount of currency. And I've never had one drop, and I've never bought one. So, but you can duplicate gear if you like. Uh, lastly, there is corrosion. So the corrosion mechanic is, has been revamped this season with the introduction of legendary crafting. Um, corrosion allows you to uh, either do a standard corrosion or a uh, familiar Nexus Corrosion. The Familiar Nexus adds uh, this one, which is a 15% chance to upgrade two Legendary Affixes uh, versus the Standard, which uh, going through, this just adds a random Amber Affix uh, or switches the base. This one re-rolls. This one is the one that you pretty much want all the time which has a chance to upgrade one of your uh, gear affixes, the legendary affixes, not the crafted affixes. Um, and that's a 30% chance. So if I hit any of these, it would be really good on this belt. Going from four to six focus blessing stacks would be uh, pretty awesome. The cooldown recovery doesn't really do that much. Uh, however, the top one here is also really quite nice. Um, additional movement speed is uh, pretty cool. Uh, and then the final one is just 
corrodes your gear. You can't corrode corroded gear. However, with the... Um, is the one that I'm wearing corroded? Must be. So... It's a three priceless. Let's just uh, use the familiar nexus on one of these. See what happens. This is what we're going for. Hopefully we can get two of these. The top two would be nice. Um, it's only a 15% chance though. And oh, we hit it. Okay. We hit it and we got a six. Um, so that's really, 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 really nice actually. So what can you do with this? So I have the top two that are corroded and I have the bottoms that are not the best. However, the one that I'm wearing is 54 strength, 58 int, 72 max life, uh, but it's only a five. So the one that I just corroded is better. So then you just have to go over to the um, dude over here, chick. You put the one that you want to inherit um, the crafted affixes. Then if I was to do this one, um, I would just be slapping these two tier zeros and max life onto this corroded gear. Now you must make sure that the crafts are exactly what you want because after you put it on here, you cannot craft corroded gear. So we'll do the inheritance. And now I have a double tier zero corroded, double tier zero crafted um, Winter of Origin, which is actually quite good. So I gained an extra, um, where'd it go? I gained an extra Focus Blessing stack, which is really quite cool. And I got 14% additional movement speed. So now I'm even faster. Instead of being fast, I'm fast. <laughs> so anyway, that is the Dark Surge mechanic. I'll be making one of these videos on each League mechanic and uh, going through. One thing before I forget, um, there is obviously Dark Surge pets. So for every mechanic in the game, there is a pet that goes with it. Um... Let me find the Dark Surge ones. I don't think I have them. If you are, I'll, I'll just quickly show you. If you are going through your pets and you're wondering which one of these is Dark Surge, you can either go through and click on every one aimlessly, or you can filter by drop. And then drop still doesn't really show you much, does it? So you just click this little up arrow here, and it will show you what it influences. So... This one is for fluorescent memories. Corgi is for a pre-season. Uh, obviously that one is that. And then going through, I don't have the legendary version for um, Dark Surge. So we'll have to go down and find it. So Eternity Summoner is the uh, Dark Surge one. And this ties in with the, um, the expensive um, compass as it is all about the legendary gear drops this gives additional gear drops and um, rarity of gear hero relics and hero memories so that is the legendary uh, pet 45% chance to unlock two additional reward types when dark surge is initiated which is really cool so that just means instead of getting one the first time, you might get three legendary gear, which would be absolutely insane uh, if you're doing that strategy. What is it? It's from the stickers. It's from the stickers. Yeah. Amazing. So this is the blue version. <coughs> it has a 16% chance to unlock one additional reward type. The legendary was two. And if we go through and find the, here we go, the epic version. Uh, again, it has the additional gear drops, which is great, which the uh, legendary had. Uh, it also has a 15% chance. If you got it to level six, it would have an additional 15% chance. And what was the... 
Ah, oh, that's just what that was. That, so that's the um, outer ring. Yep, the the last point. Uh, so that is Dark Surge in a nutshell. Um, I think I covered it pretty well. And I will see you in the next video where we cover off on... What was it? Ugh. Void C. Oh, gosh. <laughs> see you then.